Okay. Drake and Loyola are going into overtime. And, uh, yeesh. Yeah, Drake and Loyola are going to overtime. And I'm going to pull up a scoreboard. I don't have time to make one, but I do want to see who comes out of this one. I want Loyola to win from Chicago, but let's see. Let me get a scoreboard. Dang, man. Okay. Let me, actually, I'm going to go with ESPN. ESPN has a better GameCast scoreboard. Oh my goodness, can we get this pulled up anytime soon? Yeah, Drake came roaring back. Loyola had a lead, and they, uh, they lost it. Yeesh. All right. Tip is away, and Crutwig won it. So... Yeah, Drake. Drake needs a win. Um, Drake desperately needs a win because if, if they keep losing, it's uh, it's not gonna be pretty. Because they want to get that at large spot. Both these teams won at large. Let so let's just say one of these teams is gonna end up winning this conference. The other one wants that at large spot. So. I think either one of them can get it. I think Loyola has a better chance to get it because of their superiority and underlying metrics as compared to uh, to Drake. But we'll see about that. And minute into this overtime, no scoring yet. Both these teams don't uh, look. This has been a very, very low scoring game. Very low scoring game. The Cardinals are a second place team. You're damn right they are. Sorry I didn't stream yesterday. I I just didn't. Sorry about that. I'll uh There's gonna be a very special bracketology on uh on Monday. S very special bracketology. It's gonna be different than some of the other ones. But I promise you it'll be good. Ball is knocked out of bounds off of my favorite name in all of college basketball, I hear Uguak. He's from Uganda, I think. He's an animal. Dude's an absolute animal for Loyola. A dude, I'm telling you, remember the name. A hear Uguak. That is a name to remember. How do I feel about MSU? They're so bad. They're so bad. <gasps> Oh, they're they're so bad. There, no. I'll type his name in the chat. Padres versus White Sox World Series. White Sox aren't there yet. Sorry, the Padres are. I think the Padres will make the World Series. White Sox aren't there yet. And I honestly have doubts on if they'll ever be there at all. A he a here Uguak. Yeah, we're about a, about a minute and a half into overtime. What's God's a choice? I saw that. That made me so mad. I, I can't stand Michigan. That really made me upset. Yeah. Now nah, I think it'll be Yankees and Padres. Yeah. But yesterday was. For college basketball, yesterday was nuts. Luke sent you a photo. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Texas. Oh, that's women's. I was like, Texas and Baylor. No, nah, that's that's women's.
No, but Arkansas beat Mizzou in overtime. Oregon won a great game against uh, Arizona. Creighton demolished Villanova. Um, who? What else happened? There was a lot of stuff that happened. A lot, lot of stuff happened. Um, LSU beat Tennessee badly. Florida State beat Wake in overtime. Oklahoma beat West Virginia in double overtime. That was a really good one. Uh, oh, tell me how Colorado lost to Cal. Here's Michael's mid-range. It is good. And Drake has, I think, their first lead of the game. Or they haven't had a lead in a while. That may have been their first lead of the game. Here's Loyola. Richardson looks inside. The layup is good and a foul. And one for Loyola. And they will be shooting a free throw to take the lead. Creighton really impressed me. Alabama is dangerous. And I'll tell you why Alabama is that they Alabama is number one in defensive efficiency. And they have these games where they score 100 points. That is... Like, yeah. Free throw is good, and Loyola leads it by one. Should we take a North Carolina? Got post play. I saw that. 257 to go. Here's Drake on the baseline. Underneath, the layup goes. Bulldogs by one. 49 48. Eight lead changes. Largest lead was Loyola by 10. Hey, I'm streaming for Loyola. All right, Crutwig underneath. They're going to call a tie-up, and the possession arrow is with Drake. Yeesh. They were like, I was watching CBS Sports HQ. They were like plus 500 on the money line. All right. Who, Iowa State? Missouri State. No, I wouldn't. Bracketology for Joe Lenardi. He has Loyola as an 8C. Drake as his in the last four. He's Drake as a play-in. By the way, I'll give you a little preview of the special of the bracketology. There's four brackets. That's different. That's that's different. I have Loyola as a seven. If they win, they will be a six. And I have Drake as a ten. If they win, I'll move them up. Loyola is tenth in the Loyola is tenth in the net. Drake is forty. Um, I think yeah, Drake just took a timeout. I saw a stat. They said the last, uh, the every single time Virginia has held North Carolina to under fifty points, they beat them. Um, ooh, seen Hall up by two on Marquette with forty-seven seconds left. Quincy's officially a metalhead. Yeah. If you guys didn't know how that story came to be, basically next year, Marie's going to have to drive me to school. Unless my mom gets a new car, which I don't think she will. She might. I don't know. But if she gets a new car, I get her current car. But if, if that doesn't happen, Murray has to take, is going to take me to school, and he's like, oh, we're only listening to metal. Turn you into a metal head. Okay. Drake gets the inbound. I was actually thinking of buying tickets for this game, but I never ended up doing it. All right, here's Michaels down low. Layup goes for Drake, and they're up by three. Okay, three-point lead. 
or what happened? There's a file. I didn't see what happened. Oh, so they just Drake just immediately fouled Loyola. So now they're just gonna shoot free throws. It's a one and one. No. Oh, you wanna know why it looks different? I had the camera backwards. That's why it looks different. First free throw for Loyola is good. Yeah, I just the camera was flipped. Does that look, does does this look better? This should look better. All right, he made the second free throw. Fifty-one to fifty. This has been such a low. So who do you want to win? Me. Yeah. Loyola. I want Loyola too, just because they're from Chicago. Drake has like a bunch of people from the region too. So I don't care about that. All right. I don't know. Minute thirty-four. Drake looking at it around the three-point line. Nowhere to go. Loyola is sixth in defensive efficiency. You're seeing it now. Here's a hook shot. Air ball. Drake grabs a rebound, but the shot clock's gonna run out. Since it didn't hit the rim, the shot clock is gonna go out, and Loyola will get the ball down one with a minute twenty-two to go. I said thank you three times. What happened? Every time they added a song, like the past 10 minutes, he said thank you and came back and another song. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Here's Oogwok. Look, I love that name. All right, Loyola just bouncing around. Underneath, that's blocked. Loyola gets a rebound. Here's a three. No, it's short. They get another rebound. Now it's knocked out. It's saved. And Drake stepped out of bounds with it. So Loyola will keep it with 54 seconds and a new shot clock. I was watching this game and I was just like, I was like, oh, Loyola's going to pull away again. But Drake came back. Here's Crutwig, gives it up. Here's a three. Got it! Wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, I think they called it travel. Ah, dang it. They called a, or no, they called an offensive foul on Crutwig. He gave it up to this guy. He drilled a three, but they called, what's it called? They called an uh, offensive foul on Crutwig. So now, oh, no, they called an illegal screen. Okay. Ah, jeez. They call it an illegal screen, so now Drake has the ball back. They're up by one with 40 seconds. They're going to bring this all the way down to about 15, which is, like, due to the shot clock. Let's see if they take a timeout. Nope, he's getting in. He just, his coach just told him something. 30 seconds. Florida gets a stop here. They're only down by one. You just can't give up a three. Three makes it a two-score game. Seven on the shot clock. 22 seconds in the game. Underneath, Richardson, back door, scramble for it on the ground. Drake still has it, and that's going to be another shot clock violation. Flo, Thamba, and Ahir, ooh, yeah, those are, they're both from, like, I think, they're both, they're both from Africa. I think, I think Ugwak's from, like, Uganda or something. I don't know where Flo, Thamba is. All right, so now Loyola and Drake, uh, I think, Lo yeah, Loyola called a timeout. So they have, Loyola's got 14.4 seconds, so they're down by one. Yeesh, this is, this is going to come down to the end. Texas Baylor women's basketball. Why is Baylor just a basketball school all of a sudden? Like, their women's team is goaded, their men's team's even better, like, like, what the heck is this? Yeah. I really, here's what they need to do, okay? What? Um, what the, this is what they're going to have to do for the NCAA tournament. They cannot have any COVID for the NCAA tournament. That's, no, that cannot happen. So basically what they're going to need to do is... Just the second they play their last game or whatever, you, you just spam test everyone. And if someone tests positive, you just throw them in, just throw them away, just like, I don't know, send them home or something. Here's Crutwig, long pass up ahead. 
And then, all right, Loyola's going to call a timeout. They just had to get the ball across half court. Now they're going to call a timeout with 12.8 seconds. Jerry Palm has Florida as a six seed. Yeah, I usually like Jerry Palm's brackets, but. Facing VCU. And West Lafayette, I'm going. <laughs> if they allow, I doubt they'll allow fans. If they allow fans, I'm going. To oh, we're going. If they allow fans, we're going. I'm going to go to Florida camp on myself to get the ball the entire time. No, if they uh, oh, VCU would probably win that game. Let's be honest. So currently, Lenardi, who I don't like, he has Loyola as an eight. I have Loyola as a seven, and then he has Drake as last four in. I have Drake as a ten. We're nineteen and two. Like, come on. Yeah, just if, if anyone tests positive, just just make them quarantine or whatever. Because from the time – here's the thing. From the time that their last game – so for once, once Selection Sunday happens, you just spam test everyone. And if anyone tests positive, you just – you quarantine them and just say, hey, you can't leave this room or – because and like all and for the players that test negative, they can only be around each other. But there just needs oh, to be twelve point eight seconds. Loyola down by one, and they get it in. Drives to the basket. It is knocked out of bounds by Drake. It will stay with Loyola with seven point eight. Okay. And now Loyola wants another timeout. Jeez, man, come on. I don't know, man. What's what's their point guard's name? Hold on. Loyola, what's what's that point guard's name? Um Oh, my ears are ringing. <laughs> Lucas Williamson, I think that's his name. Oh, my eardrums are ringing. Doing the Tyson Wall. Five hours and 34 minutes of heavy metal songs. Cubs and Indians are fourth place teams. That's some cap. That's um, that is some cap. here. All right, we'll see what they do now. They might just try to inbound it, download a Crutwig if they can. Nope, they get it in. Gets a screen from Ugwak. Kennedy to the basket. He's blocked again, and it's out of bounds again off Drake with 4.1 seconds. Okay. Well, uh, let's do this again. Why not? Yeesh. All right, now, all right, so they just they just drove to the basket twice and got blocked twice. So, so I don't know what you do now. All right, no timeout, so it's it's got to be here. Four seconds. Looks around. Lobs it up. It is knocked into the middle. Take it away by Drake, and they're going to win it. 51 or they fouled them with 0 0.2, but that's basically game. They had nowhere to go. Drake comes away with a steal, and they're going to get a much-needed win. I told you they'd split. Didn't I say that? Yeah, yep, I did. I said, I said they'll split. And that is exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, so... So, bracketology update. Uh, See you, Drake. I'm gonna keep Loyola as a seven. They're eight. Uh, they're eighteen and four. I'm moving Drake up to a ten. They're eighteen and four, and they absolutely beat the brakes off of Drake, and then lost to him by one. All right, they actually actually they put some time on the clock. There's one point seven on the clock, so it, and they're shooting two free throws, so. It's not over yet. 
Hold on. Okay. Is MSU in or out? They're out. They're terrible. Loyola. Eh. So, all right. So, there's 1.7 seconds left on the clock. Tramel Murphy shooting free throws. He should make the first. Actually, they say make the first, miss the second. I would always oh, miss the first. All right. Okay. Now, I see you miss this next one. Because the only shot they're going to be able to get off is a three. But if you, and since they don't have any timeouts. Okay, Drake just called a timeout. So, he's probably going to tell them to miss it. So that way Loyola can't, they can't call a timeout. They don't have any. So as soon as they catch it, the, that 1.7 is going to start ticking. They just got to throw up a full court shot. This, is, this is a really good win for Drake. They were lacking in the bit in the good win department. But they're gonna get, if they win this, they're going to get a ranked win. Um, Quad one win, that'll help too. I don't know. I'm still adamant about Loyola making the final four. I think they're that good. It's just they're going to need to get a little bit better on off. Their defense is elite. Elite. They're on like a, what was it? They said they've held their last seven opponents to under 60 points. And that'll continue this game. All right, so they're going to tell them to miss it probably. He did miss it. Long bounce. Loyola full court for the win. And he missed it. Too high. And Drake has reached the 20 win plateau. They are 20 and 2 on the season. And they get a much needed win for their tournament resume against Loyola Chicago. Okay. So they needed that. Oh. Do we have a, a yelling? We've got a yelling match at the end. Some drama between these two teams. Drake obviously hyped up. They responded well after the beating they received yesterday. Oh, dude, literally. Loyola, like, stayed on the court, and Drake's just looking at like, yeah, yeah. This is all the guys. That's all they're doing. But that is a great win for Drake. How does this affect? I'm gonna keep Loyola as a seven. They're eighteen and four. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna drop them. But Drake, um, I moved them up one spot. From my, where, where did you have them? Eleven. I have them as a ten right now. And they're moved there to stay in ten. So they're. I don't know. They're twenty and two. Like, they I got. Them out of the playing game. They gotta be pretty good. Um, who do I wanna actually? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I need to move Xavier down. I'm gonna move Xavier to a ten. I'm not moving Drake to a six though. Hold on. So right now I'm gonna put Drake as a six, but that's just like a holding spot. I'm not gonna actually put it there. Okay, so my new matchups are. It's going to be Pitt and St. John's in the playing game. And then Drake is going to take on Utah State in a 10 7. Yeah, that works. I like that. Murray's trying to get my video taken down by playing copyrighted music. Um, it's not copyrighted. That is. Do you know? Okay, whatever. It's not that loud. Okay, wait. So, um, I'm gonna move Drake. Um, okay. Who are my eight seeds? Um. Uh, UConn. I don't think you. I, 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 I probably need to change my Minnesota pick. All right, I know what I'm doing with Drake. I'm gonna make Drake an eight, and I'm gonna move Louisville to a six. Drake's new first round opponent is LSU, and uh, 
I think they'd win it. I think they could beat OSU. Actually, no, nah, I think LSU would beat Drake. And then I think Indiana, and I have Louisville playing Indiana. I think Indiana would win. I still have Loyola in my Final Four. And then Clemson and Xavier, I would take Xavier. All right. Yeah, I like this bracket that works. But we got a special bracketology go for you guys. All right.